Hello and welcome to your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week of October 20th, 2014. Okay, so this week we're going to do things just slightly different. We're going to draw the three cards as usual, first half of the week, second half of the week, and weekend. But after each card, we're going to be getting advice from the angels uh, with the angel or, or archangel oracle cards. The first deck is daily messages or daily guidance from your angels, rather. And then the advice cards will be um, the archangel oracle cards. So we begin our week, and forgive my voice, I'm a, I've been sick a little bit this weekend. Uh, we begin the first half of the week with blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You will understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Whenever we have uh, a situation that resolves and maybe doesn't always resolve in the way we wanted it to, or we didn't understand the reason behind it, in hindsight we always, they say 20, vision or um, hindsight is twenty twenty. Clarity oftentimes doesn't come when we have situations come up for us until later. Now again, this isn't labeling a situation being bad, good, or indifferent. Um... It's in general, regardless, even if it's a good thing, when something works out, even with a great surprise, looking back later, you're like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense now. So understand that your prayers are always answered, and they're always answered for your highest good. Sometimes when we have a definition or we have an expectation of what the outcome should look like, and it doesn't look like that, we're left a little bewildered. But understand and know everything's in its divine order and its divine timing and everything is going to be exactly how it's supposed to be. And you will know that and realize that and be able to see that as these situations move forward. Now the angel advice for this first half of the week comes from Archangel Raphael. It's entitled Angel Therapy. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. So if you're finding yourself this week a little bewildered, a little put off, not fully understanding why things are happening the way they are or when they are or how they are, give over your burdens to God. Uh, however it is that, that you feel comfortable, whatever resonates with you, uh, to give those burdens over, um, whether just asking for the angels to help take them off of your shoulders, uh, if you do it through prayer, meditation, um, affirmations, Really exercise that and understand that there are no mistakes and soon you will understand, but right now you just need to trust and give all that up to the angels, to the heavens, and we have to really train ourselves to not worry or burden ourselves over things that are out of our control. And as you do that, you realize how little is in your control. Uh, but worrying about something that we have no control over the outcome takes a physical toll on our body. Not only a spiritual and emotional toll, but a physical toll on our body. And that burden and that worry and upset and anger can manifest in, in pretty bad ways in our body. So as a general practice, you should always give up burdens and, and anger and frustration. And anytime you just have any negative uh, or I shouldn't say negative any lower vibrational emotion attached to something in general make it a practice to give that up to the angels give it over to God um, but this week especially there may be something that you're starting out the week something may just have you off kilter you may not fully understand it just turn it over and just trust it's going to work out in the best way it can and you will see that moving forward so for the second half of the week, we now have giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale or give, or only inhale and receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. As I'm reading this card, they... It put in my head, I almost said it as I was reading it, even though it's not on a card. Uh, balance each inhalation in your life 
with an equivalent exhalation. One of the tricks in meditation and meditative practices is rhythmic breathing. You breathe in for four seconds, you breathe out for four seconds, you breathe in for four seconds, or whatever time frame you practice in that within that uh, modality. It's that evenness, it's that equality, the, the in and out being in perfect balance and perfect harmony that induces that, that transient state. And that affects our energy that way in anything we do. So more often in readings, we come up with balance, finding balance or temperance. And, you know, it's, it's so important to have everything in balance. A difficult task, depending on each individual's circumstance and, and life and things like that, I realize it can be very difficult to find balance. So you start with finding balance in the smallest things. So as you move through the second half of this week, look where in your life you can find more balance. And it can be the tiniest little thing. It's a start, and as you start to find balance with the smaller things, the easier things will suddenly be easier to, will become more easily balanced because you're not unbalanced in all the little things. Any advice for this finding balance this second half of the week comes from Archangel Jeremiah, or Jeremiah, depending on how you pronounce the Archangel's names. Uh, the worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. The car is overcoming difficulties. And it's through finding that balance that we can overcome difficulties. So this is a pretty clean cut. Doesn't need a whole lot of explaining or in-depth uh, analysis. I mean, this is just letting you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You've already done most of the hard work. You have a huge support system on the other side. Lean on them and... The, the end of the difficult situation is near. Um, something else that's been coming with readings a lot. Uh, the difficult situation is now over, moving forward. A lot. This is coming up for a lot of people right now. And uh, because a lot of people are, are, are rising up, they're lifting their vibration. So uh, always sound advice. And, and I really like when I do readings like this. And I'm pulling from two separate decks. And the cards not only are meaningful to each other. But if you compare it the three cards from the one deck and the three cards from the second deck, um, they're both going along a similar uh, message uh, form. So I really enjoy these. They always, it always amuses me when I see how well they work together, even though they're two separate decks entirely. So let's see what else they have. So now moving through the weekend, we see assertiveness. Now it's almost as if I've gave this message a few seconds early because as I was um, wrapping up the last card I had said about this huge support system you know getting you through it and, uh, and and here we are so we have the weekend here we have assertiveness this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with other people involved we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth giving you strength and guiding your words. So often we find ourselves in situations where we're trying to get out of it with minimal uh, casualties or collateral damage, so to speak. And in that, perhaps we're not always 100% truthful. It's not that we lie about stuff, but maybe we don't tell everything in order to spare someone's feelings or let someone think they're having their way just to get through the situation and move on. It's not anything malicious or anything spiteful. It's just about getting through the situation with as minimal conflict as possible. But there comes times where we have to stand in our power, stand up for what we believe in, and stand up, more importantly, for ourselves, and say, well, we're not going to be a victim in this. I've been willing to work with you. I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing to meet you in the middle. But the middle is the middle. The middle isn't almost all the way to you. So, as we move through things, always do things with love, always do things with the highest of good, and always do things again. We're back to that balance. Find balance in your actions, and you will be supported, and typically speaking in those matters, things will work out in a balanced, fair way. And now right on cue, our angel's advice is gentleness. 
We're just talking about being, you know, delicate and gentle and loving, but be firm and fair. Now we have the advice from Archangel Sandalphon. Uh, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Oftentimes to nurture, I use that word way too much, but anyway, oftentimes to nurture ourselves to give us time to kind of patch up all those those uh, energy wounds that we have from a conflict or a, a, a situation that, that we're uneasy with, it's important to find yourself in a loving, gentle environment. If you cover a wound with a Band-Aid, and don't bump that, that finger and keep it perfectly clean and pamper it. It's going to heal cleaner, easier, and faster than if you don't cover it and you go and play in the mud and dirt every day. The gentle, loving environment is conducive of healing, regaining your energy, relifting re up your vibration, and really being surrounded with love and light. So if you found this week at all challenging, if you found this week at all, um, even if it worked out the way you want it, just because maybe it's been a roller coaster for you, use this coming weekend to find your gentleness. To, to spend time maybe in your sacred space you may have created in your home, or a walk in nature, just find somewhere where you can go to be around loving, respectful energies. And uh, even if it's just with yourself, an environment that gives you that sensation of nurturing and, and love and warmth and comfort. And really delve yourself into that this coming weekend if you really feel drained and you've had a challenging week in some way. And uh, you know, that's, that's the advice for, for this weekend. So all in all, I, I really like that reading. Uh, I like the way it worked out. Uh, it was just something, I wanted to do something a little different today, and that's what they had told me to do. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you all did too. Again, this is Daniel for Advanced Angel Cards, wishing you all a blessed week. And um, see you next time.